Hey guys, it's Lucas D. Uh, this is just my quick video on trading in Path of Exile. So if you're a beginner, there are two ways you can trade in Path of Exile. You can trade in the trade chat channel, which is done by typing in the dollar symbol. So we'll do that now. So dollar symbol, and then we'll put, we'll say we'll sell the drill neck arrow quiver. And then we'll, in order to link an item you want in the trade chat, you just click control alt you hold that down and then you left click on the item you want to sell and then what it'll do is it'll link the item in the trade chat there so let's type in say wants to sell drill neck arrow quiver and then we'll just put that for one x alt and then I just click enter and then there you go it's on the trade chat channel now wants to sell drill neck penetrating avocator quiver one x okay there is another option you can do too guys because when you play Path of Exile a lot and then you get to that point where your stash chat just gets filled up with junk and say you don't want to use the trade chat in there um, and you want to get a bit more technical there is a way you can do it you just list your items on the Path of Exile forum and let's just go there now so go to Path of Exile um, web browser in the web browser and then you go forum and then you just click index and then trading and then in the trading tab here, it's got a list of all your shops, your standard, your hardcore, your talisman, and your hardcore talisman. So just pick what shop you want to create. So let's go hardcore talisman shops, and then we can cre create a new thread over there, and then we can call whatever we want. So I'll call the thread, I've already got a thread anyway, so I'll just call it Lucas D Shop of Goods just to show you guys and then we want to list what we want to sell in here now the quickest way to do this would be probably getting the procurement third party app now what procurement is is it just acts as a third party app and what it does is it picks up your stash tabs from your Path of Exile characters in whatever leagues you're in so I've got procurement already installed on my computer but I'll show you guys really quickly if you guys want to download it and as of January 2016 it is procurement 1.9.7 okay so if you want to download procurement procurement 1.9.7 go to the github website and then when you go to the github uh, website it will list all the versions of procurement all the previous releases and all the new releases so we want the latest release which is procurement 1.9.7 we just click on downloads here underneath the downloads the zip file so when you click on the zip file you just want to open it and it will open it with your Windows extraction application whatever you're using I'm using WinRAR and then you just click open with that and it will open it for you and then you just extract the folder to where you want to extract it to once it's extracted create a shortcut on your desktop so um, once you create a shortcut on your desktop it should be here and then you just open your procurement app. Now when we've opened our procurement app it will have a um, email password and account name here that you'd have to type in. Now don't worry about that just click use session ID. So if you click here use session ID you just type in your nickname whatever it is so it may be um, Lucas D well, that's my nickname so that's that's what I will put on there and then your account name just find out where your account name is on the Parfix or website when you're logged in and then in order to get your session ID to do that you go to the Path of Exile website so we'll go back there where the forum was make sure you're logged in so I'm logged in at the moment and I can get my POE session ID this way so I just click F12 in Google Chrome when I click F12 in Google Chrome it'll list down here a couple of um, options here so I double click on cookies and then I double click on pathofexile.com so www.pathofexile.com and then it will have P-O-E S-E-S-S ID over here what I want to click on is under here the value so the value will have a session ID here so you double click on that when you double click on it it will highlight it and then you just right click and you click copy okay so I'll highlight this session ID here this is the session ID you want to paste into the procurement app so when we go back to procurement app just uh, highlight that just right click paste so pasting our session ID in there and we click login now that should log us in to the procurement app now when we've logged into the procurement app we I'll show you what you do in order to list your items in the 
forum over here. It's pretty easy, and um, what the procurement app does is it lists all your stash tabs from your Farfax or Exile characters. So I have my Hardcore Talisman character character um, stash tabs here, and I have my for trade, which, as you saw in the game there. So if we go back to the game, there's the for trade. So we'll go back to the procurement app, and here are all the items in the procurement app. So I can list all these items I want and put them on the forum. So in order to do that, I just go to trading, and then the for trade tab. I want to click on that, and it'll automatically set the layout I want. And all you have to do is right click. So select all, so we'll select all this, and then just click, right click, copy, and then we'll go back to the forum website, here, close this, okay. so copy, paste, and then everything is done for me. So I just click preview, and I can see everything in there that I want from that stash tab, I've listed it on there for the forum. So we look down here, and we've got all the unique items, pretty cool. Then we've got all the dual res gear, all the weapons and armor. So everything's done. It's nicely laid out. It's very good. Now, if you want to get a bit more technical, you can do something different also, and you can put a buyout price on your items as well. Depends how much time you've got and if you want to spend time, but your items will sell a lot quicker if they have a buyout um, price on them. So let's go back to the procurement app, go back to our stash tab, and then we'll go back to the for trade stash tab here and we want to list a few of these items so um, I know what some of these items are worth so I'll just put a buyout for one fusing for this save buyout one fusing for this save out for one fusing this save um, one's this one yeah infernal mantle I'll put a buyout for one chaos for that uh, Cybele's poor I'll put a buyout for two chaos for that I want that for and the drill neck of course I have that so I'll put that down for one X altered orb. Okay so I've put buyout prices in here for these unique unique items. So now I can um, go back to my trading tab here. Um, untick that retick it so it refreshes the stash tab and then I just um, right click this text again copy and then go back to my forum page where I was creating my post and then I'll just paste that information in there. So we'll click preview again and we'll see if it's come up now with the buyouts on the unique items. So show us all the unique items. There we go. So we've got buyout one fuse for that, buyout one fuse for that and we've got a buyout two chaos for that, buyout one chaos for that and of course one exalt for the drill neck. So I've listed, so I've done that, I've checked the preview, and then we just click submit, and then your items will be in there in the shop section, which is great, and then you just keep refreshing your shop. When, once your items are listed on there, um, you can just keep refreshing it, and you can also do that in procurement as well. So you can um, update your forum thread, and ways, there are ways to do that also. Anyways, that's, that's how you list your items in the Path of Exile forum, and once your items are listed in the Path of Exile forum, uh, it will be also listed in the PoE Trade website. So, if you guys aren't familiar with PoE Trade, I'll just bring it up now. So, got it here, and you can find items here. So, you can search in whatever league you're in. So, if you're just playing standard, you can search standard. If you're in the Hardcore Talisman, you can search in the Hardcore Talisman league. Um, you can search for items and just put in particular things you want to look for. Uh, type in the name you want to look for something. So say you want to look for the drill neck, you can just type in the drill neck and then um, buy out only and click search and then it'll list all the items in the Talisman League buy out only and who are online right now. Okay, so that's, that's another option um, you have once your items are on the forum shops that you can have. Um, there is a few things. Uh, if you want to be shown as online when you're playing, you need to be in the ladder in the top 15,000 for your character to actually be seen as online with PoE Trade. So just keep thought there. Like, um, if you're not in the top 15,000, then your character is not going to be registered as online because the PoE Trade website can't pick up data 
to know if you're online or not if you're not in the top 15,000 ladder. And if you don't have a buyout price on here on your items, it will not be listed if people tick buy it only on. So people won't see your items if you don't have buyout prices on them. But anyways, this is just my quick guide on trading. I'm trying to be as quick as I can. Um, there is a lot of to go through in Path of Exile when you're trading, and I just thought I'd just do this quick video for you guys. I hope this has been a little bit helpful for you guys. I hope it's been clear, and um, I, I hope you enjoy the video. And thanks for watching. So I'm Lucas D, and this is just my updated video guide on trading in Path of Exile. Thanks for watching. Bye.